I love fish and chips and I love them so much. I'm going to make them now. And I'm going to show you how. Let's start off. We're going to make batter and we're starting off with a bowl and I got a bunch of ingredients here. All dry goes together. All purpose flour, baking powder, a little salt. We got a little cayenne for some heat, garlic powder, onion powder, whisk, kind of combine them all together and kind of work the lumps out. And the best part, beer. Uh, I'm using Gordon Biersch Blonde Bock today, but you just want to make sure you're using a nice dark beer. It's going to give you a nice good flavor and there's good sugar in there to help out. So I'm going to pour the beer in and I want to make sure that I get an even lump free mix. Now you're probably wondering, Hey, when I make pancakes, I leave the lumps in and that's true. But for the beer batter that we're going to make, you don't want the lumps. What we're going to do is we're going to mix this thing till it's smooth. And what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes in the fridge. And by letting it sit in the fridge, what it's going to do is it's going to allow this to rest. And when it rests, what happens is all that gluten that was in the flour because I mixed this so hard goes away, which makes it easy to fry. And we're going to go put it in the fridge, let it sit. We'll come back and we'll start frying. When you're doing a, a battered dish, you really want to make sure that this batter is cold and it is as such. So I've got mahi here that I cut into little half inch by three inch strips. And these will be what we use to make our sticks. I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. And it's always important to season as you cook. I can't emphasize enough the importance of seasoning. And that's really where people fall short 90% of the time. Okay, so I've got uh, them seasoned and I'm putting them in cornstarch. We're going to lightly dredge them in cornstarch. And when you're frying or doing a batter process, you really want to try to minimize your hands going back and forth so you don't get, you know, batter all over everything. But basically, we're going to put these inside the cornstarch and I want to, I don't want a lot of that cornstarch to stay on. So I'm going to kind of pat it to get it, get it all extra off. So this is what we were looking for. Okay. Then I'm going to put them in our nice beer batter here. And I think we can fit seven in this pot here. Again, I'm going to use one hand in the batter so that I don't keep this, get this one all dirty. I'm going to stick it in the batter and take the excess off. And I have oil that's about 350 degrees or medium high. As I place it into the oil, I'm going to wave it into the, into the fat a little bit. And what happens is the batter will start to cook and it'll keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. So again, take all the excess off, wave it into the, into the oil so that it starts to fry. The batter kind of starts to puff up and then you let it go. These should take probably about two to three minutes frying. And what you're looking for is a nice golden brown. So when you know there, when you see that color you like and that, that nice rich golden amber color, you know that uh, they're done frying. It's as simple as that. I'm going to move them around a little bit. Some of these pieces are starting to look great already. I'm going to flip them over so that the other side, you know, this, this is the side that's in and the side that was floating in the top. You just want to try to get even color. Flip, flip, flip this guy over a little bit. So th the ones that I put in first are starting to be done. I'm going to start taking them out and I'm going to drain them so we can get all that excess oil out. And as you can see, I've got really, really nice golden battered fish sticks here. We'll take these out. A couple more pieces in here. They're almost done. And then when we come back, we'll go ahead and plate this. I got some oven baked fries we'll put together with some uh, malt vinegar and tartar sauce and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're ready to plate. Now, I got my uh, beer battered wonderful mahi sticks here and I made some oven fries, some wonderful Yukon gold and sea salt fries. So these are my chips. I'm going to go ahead and put a nice big mound of those in the plate here. 
put some of them over here so I can make two portions here. Then we'll artfully or neatly arrange a bunch of them into the platter here. I got a couple more pieces for here. And of course, what are we serving them with? I got some tartar sauce and some nice malt vinegar. And we are now done. I got my tartar sauce here, got my fish and chips, and there's only one thing left to do, but to enjoy. So I'm gonna try some here. And that's good. A little bit more here. These can go potatoes. I told you I love fish and chips. I'm gonna see you later because I gotta go eat now. We'll see you next time. More recipes at foodline.com. We'll check you there. Bye now.